Hi everybody. I bought this the other day just because it really got my attention. Isn't it lovely? I didn't buy a lot, but I thought, how useful. I'm just going to open it up and we can have a little look at it. It's got these areas with these stripes. Something like that could just be a, a nice leaf, couldn't it? A swirly bit here could be water. I've got these nice speckly bits, could be bushes. I just look at it and I just see see things in it. And I thought, well, seeing though I do, why don't we do a little a little series and it would be using this as our inspiration and uh, just imagine if that if you had one that you had this you know the the fabric in each picture and you did maybe three pictures or you did little ones and you did a series of six how lovely it would look and they would all match you see because they would all have a little bit of this in it so I thought we could we could try a few different things and um, and see how it turns out and I'm really excited because this uh, this material really does speak to me before I even looked at that I looked at this I thought, look at that that was just sitting here that was something else I got out for something it's a it's a actual raw silk but what was interesting I thought about it too was that it had the yellow threads going through and the white they must the white silky threads going across and as it unraveled it did this interesting thing and I thought oh I wonder if we could use you somehow you know I wonder if we could I don't know turn you into something so um, that's going to be my starting point for my first one. All right then. So these are 8x10. It's easy to find an 8x10 frame. Um, and this cutout bit is 5x7 inches. First things first, I've made the decision of what size I'm going to make it. And it's uh, going to be just over uh, that 5x7 by seven so it goes beyond it so I'll make it like oh I don't know six and a half or, or more um, by what they say seven so eight and a half something like that so different ones eh well this is yellow or green sometimes gold sometimes brown you know but I, I wow But as to what I want to do, couldn't tell you. Couldn't tell you at all at the moment. Every time I look at this, I see something different. And that's the way it's going to be. All right. Well, we'll just take a bit. I'm going to take that bit. And we have a starting point. There. Now, what do we see? So yeah, this could be a, a sky, there's a cloud hanging low, there's a line of trees on the horizon, we've got a nice field here, got another field there. We don't want the whole thing to be like that, but uh, now where's that yellow bit that we had? I can handle that. You may think I have to have an idea to start with. Well, probably would be sensible. I do have ideas in my head, but I don't know what, what I'll do with them. I just liked those wispy bits. Aren't they pretty? What happens if we go that way? Looks like the wind's blowing it, doesn't it? But I like it. And we haven't done much at all. I suppose I could just 
glue sticking away there we are we've decided but uh, hmm. no we'll try and add a little something in there now what else could we do I'm only at the moment looking around to see what kind of stuff I've got in front of me <laughs> which if you could see my desk is really quite a lot you know I use this wool a lot don't I so one moment a bit of that look at how we've it matches in perfectly doesn't it what else have we got let's remember we've got other other pictures we're gonna do we don't have to use everything in one It'd be nice with an overlay over it can't see through that that's just too too shiny I don't think I've ever done a yellow picture this makes it interesting because I don't, don't know I like all of that it's distinctly possible that we could just do a little landscape and the yellow why is it yellow you're asking well because I like the idea that it's uh, sunrise sunset something I like it how yeah, different it looks when you do that it does put that there or something there um, I quite fancy doing it the other way around too but it's not as easy for you to see it gosh that's pretty why don't we turn it upside down <laughs> never be afraid to turn your work upside down and see what that does because you don't know Maybe it's the clouds in the sky. Hmm. And maybe this is a little inlet or a little hill. Maybe we've got... See how I'm, if I've got one on one side, I want one on the other. Yeah, something like that. But if we were going to do that with that bright yellow, then we would want something. Say if we put a little sun disappearing then. And we had these silky clouds there. I think whatever happens, I think I'll just... I'm not even going to iron that. I'm going to leave it all wrinkly. Oh, you I should iron. That's not right, is it? Hmm. Yeah, and I'll just use that little bit. So, at the moment, I'm just going to go like this. Maybe some bits are over the top. Out of the glue stick. Like that, cross like that. Want you there. Meantime, let's just put a little dob there and say that we're going to make a commitment. We want something there. That'll do me. And that was just a bit that I picked up, so it's, it's obviously not quite right. They don't have to be in organza, it's just that that's what I had. And uh, I liked it with sort of like shading. I'm just going to pop that there, like that. Now I'm just going to cut a few little bits out. And that little bit there, let's try a little bit here too. There we go, we've broken up that expanse a little bit. I like that vivid sky. So I'm not going to make too many decisions as of yet. As I say, this can be part of our clouds and how would we get it to stay do we have to but at the very start I could just pop some stitches in and just see what it does as I sew it and I will just go this is a good way for people anyone to be able to pick up a couple of bits of fabric you don't need a fancy machine in fact my machine is far from fancy but uh, 
yes, for hand sewing. It's a good way for people to start. And just if I manage to sometimes catch in some of those bits of silk thread, then I'm happy. I don't have to try and catch it all in on the first part. Oh, look at that, it just pulled it up. But I'm going to go with it because I thought that's interesting. Hadn't intended that. Sometimes I just let it do what it wants to do and not fight against it. There's a lot of things you can't do if you were making a cushion cover or a quilt or a clothing because then you would have to be able to make sure that it can handle some heavy wear and that it will be able to be washed and so on. But if you're making a picture, hmm, all wheels are off, you can do what you like. i to take that one through to the back and end off, but I'm just showing you. That looks nice. See how with the shiny silvery thread that it picks up the light as well. And we've got our wild threads that we didn't trim off, we just used. And I think it looks pretty nice so far. Another thing I would like to try, and for this my blunt needle will be good, is I would like to see what happens here. You know, we've cut this. Would it, would it fray like the other did? You know, would it give us some interesting lines like that? Let's try it with my hands to see what it does. Oh, yes. Yep. See, that's, that would be quite handy if we could do something like that. Yes. That would be great. Let's take some more of these. Every fabric's different, but I like to play with them and just see what they'll do. You never know. You know, if we were giving this one a title, I think I'd go Wild Sky or something like that. Hmm. But with a few stitches, that would be pretty good, I think. So, I'll go backwards and forwards a couple of times like I have here. I'll start with this yellow because it works so well. I can use it here, I can use it up, I can use it anywhere up there. So you can use a single thread or a full thread or just mix it up a little bit so that you have different textures. So I've just grabbed some pearl cotton. It's variegated. I've used it a bit in other things very useful if you didn't have pearl cotton you know just something thicker or um, you know three strands of a stranded floss just to mix it up a bit so I've used shiny so far a shiny lemon that's it I'll put some white I'll use some more oranges and yellows I've got this one here that would go nice and I'll just backwards and forwards doing that just more of the same, really. But sometimes you might want to do big stitches and sometimes you might want to do little variation is quite good. But sometimes I'll do that and sometimes I'll go all the way across. Sometimes it's perfectly all right if you decide you want two lines there to just turn around and do it. And if any of these things get in my way at the end, I can just pull it back out. 
can chop them off I can pull them out but you know I, I'll decide that later I'm just letting it trap what it wants and, uh, and just see how it ends up this is what I mean I may not want those trapped up in a, a straight line like that so I'll just pull that out sometimes I might want to coax those threads up I'll just do a little manipulation with my needle and catch it as I go because believe me I'm still as I sew I think and I think about what I might like to do and this is we got all of this yellow and I love the yellow in the sky and I can even believe that that's water and that's reflection of all of this magnificent sky but down here I'm thinking we need to maybe do something to get rid of some of that yellow or disguise some of that yellow so what we've been working on so far is just going backwards and forwards I've used a thick thread and I've used a shiny thread I'll just use a few more in there backwards and forwards but I'm going to leave that for now because I'm just not sure what's going to happen with the rest of it so I'm just going to maybe attach those and put that horizon line in well whilst I'm doing a horizon I'm going to pop in a bit of this because that'll give us a tree line as well I quite like the idea of it being lighter in the center where the, where the sun coming up or going down would be so I've chosen some brown or browny green it's another variegated one a couple of strands and what I'm doing is just the running stitch again but I'm coaxing that little bit of yarn to stay on the top of that shape whilst I'm attaching that shape and that will be the bushes on a on a little headland um, as you look out to see and as we continue that we will stitch straight across and put in a couple of lines of um, on the horizon So it doesn't take much at all to add in that tree line, the horizon straight across and uh, then we'll do the other side as well the same way. So just using this one stitch let's have a look. I've taken that brownie green, I've done a, a couple of lines across on the bottom of the headland and I've continued it out into the water. And then I've added in some thicker lines of that variegated into the water. Everything has just been a plain stitch, a straight stitch, or a single stitch. You can see here. Let's just have a little catch up. Remember, we can do what we like if we like. More sky or more foreground. What I wanted to show you is some of the few things that I've done. And I've just, you know, we were doing this straight stitch. In fact, that's all we've done. And I used it to also put in that line there that's the horizon and to tack down that little bit of fancy yarn which made bushes. And then here, what are you? I started with this thick thread that's a variegated one and then I added in because I thought let's try and make this a little bit a little bit more waterish so I added in this very shiny light grey blue just a, and that will just give a tinge of blue to that then I used a green and I just brought it in from the edges I might add another one yet but you know that's kind of uh, all I want to do 
because you know how you see ripples and you see the highlights of of uh, what the sun's catching on water when the wind's going across it that's what it looks like to me that's what we're trying to achieve and so I'm thinking I'm thinking a lot of things but down the bottom you know we could if we wanted to do something like that have that in the foreground and just do some grasses or we could just do more of this but at the moment I'm wanting to tidy up this messy sky three strands of white and I'm wanting to do some French knots and also some running stitch and just uh, intersperse those two but let me first show you a French knot so it's needle up from underneath and then you wrap the thread around you know however many times you think three four and then back down close to where you came up so there we go wrapping it around putting it back in and uh, just letting that thread let it go at the end there and it just pulls itself into a nice little knot So I'll continue on and I'll shape this a little bit by moving those threads where I want them to be. Maybe I'll trap them and adding these little French knots just seems to make it look like the fluffy tops of clouds or, or something. It sort of just helps it all blend in and interspersed with that I'll just do a little bit of running stitch. So a little bit of both and um, the French knots look much better in a little cluster. So, I think it'll be very effective. Right, so now I'm just going to choose a few colours that I think might be nice in the sky. Some thicker, some thinner, some shinier. Um, different shades of yellow or white or orange. There we go, we're ready. Can you see that there is just the same? I just did running stitch around. It'll in a little half circle and then I went inside it and then I filled in the gap so it's the same um, but I liked the idea of having a little sun going down there I might put a, a lighter yellow on the outside yet let's have a look at how this sky this wild sky turned out now I quite like the orange in there and we've got some French knots in groupings I could really go to town if I want but oh, I don't think I will could also do something more with these trees but I quite like that they're pretty abstract and look at this this here that could easily be distant trees behind I think I will do a little bit of light yellow around that to just make that stand out a little bit more that sun I'm thinking do you see what I was trying to achieve with just these little lines So we brought in that little bit of blue, that was nice. But I thought if we brought some darker ones in here, you know, so it's sort of like framing our little sunset, then that would probably be enough because that material really does speak for itself. So I'm going to do that and we'll just finish it. Now if I was going to do this, kind of color hmm greeny browns that kind of thing I think see this dark green I'm gonna use it first uh, and because everything in the foreground is um, bigger to your eye I'm gonna use two strands of this And we'll see how this little idea works you know sometimes it'll be in a line like that sometimes it's just a single one maybe it's a long one have a look here that's what I meant. So I'm just going to do it with 
you know these different colors and see see what happens so I'm starting with a dark dark area here and just put one color down and see where it leads me I continue on with some browny green colors later I even bring in a little bit of a dark teal color just to try and get that water color in there but I think overall it looks pretty good I like that we've framed the outside in the darker little um, stitches and we've left the the central piece quite bare I think that's that's nice um, I did go back and I went around the Sun in some silver you can see it there it's really quite shiny um, and then just underneath it I just did a few little dashes of silver in the water to highlight that and that's about it but it has been a lot of fun I really do like the way that it worked out I'm quite uh, quite pleased so when you see an interesting piece of fabric have a look at it and see what you can see in it we'll try something else completely different with this uh, material next time my name's Tracy from Art Fiber Stitch I hope you've liked it if you have do press like and subscribe and I'll see you for the next video